things are asking really quick because I hear a lot of uh, questions that are asking. They're saying, Sergio said, Miss Pena, can I use the same reasons for my state or my country? Yes, because remember we talked about it. You're going to have the food, you're going to have the culture, you're going to have the sightseeing. That's going to be done in any state, any country, whatever. It's going to be the same. However, your development here of this, you, it's not something that we have never seen before. So we're going to talk about the writing prompt that we're going to be doing today. Shazinski, you want to go ahead and start with the reading? Yes, and remember the writing prompt is from what we've done before with the quick write. We wrote some ideas down of different things we'd like to write about, and this is one of them that you guys decided on that you'd like to do. So let's look at our prompt. The read. The world is a book, and those who do not travel read only one page from St. Augustine. Think. Think about the following statement. Traveling and visiting new places can be very rewarding. <clears throat> the world is a very big and interesting place. You might not be able to see all of it, but you should try to see some of it. Right. You are going to be writing an essay, an expository essay, describing a place that you would like to travel to and why. Okay? So what we're going to do today is we're going to, you're going to have the graphic organizer in front of you. We're going to fill the first part of it out together. So everybody's paper is going to be the same with the introduction. The only part that's going to be different is your reasons, examples, and conclusions. <coughs> Everybody understand so far? <coughs> Any questions? No. Okay. So Ms. Pena is going to be our uh, secretary today, and she's going to write stuff down for us, and we're all going to try to fill this out together. What we're doing on the board should look very similar to the graphic organizer that you have on your desk. Okay. So what, the, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. When we first start out with an outline, okay? What is on the top? What is the first thing that we have on the top? Thesis. For thesis. Okay. Right, a thesis. So I'm going I'm to go ahead and write it right here. <coughs> of course, you don't need to write it on your graphic organizer because you're going to be writing your thesis on your own, right? But that's going to be our first thing. What's the second thing that we have here on the top? Hook. We'll have our hook. Very good. Okay. And then our third thing? Background, Background, and Background info. info. I'm sorry. Please thank you. And then restate, restate your thesis. thesis. You're going to restate your thesis. What does it mean to restate your thesis? You Say it in another it way. So you write it in a different way. You're not repeating it. You're just you're saying the same ideas, but you're saying it in a different way. Okay. So we have those top things. Now we're going to move down here to the middle part of your outline. What are these three top lines for? Reasons. Your reasons. Your reasons. Okay. So you have reason one. I have my reason one. Reason two. And then what else? We reason three. three. Okay. And then underneath the reasons, what do I need? Examples. Examples, Examples for what? The reason. Oh, Each what reason. About? So my examples that are going to go down here are going to support my reasons. Reasons, right? You These have examples. To, you have to prove what you're trying to say. Okay. You're proving it. You're giving your example. I can't just say that one of my reasons is I want to go to Italy because it's nice, right? I need to have a specific reason. I need to have a specific example of what you're wanting to do, right? We talked about this before, okay? Then, then we have our conclusion. I know we talked about it a little bit, gone over it. Shane, do you remember what I need in my conclusion? Um, number one is restate the thesis. We're going to try to restate our thesis another way. <coughs> okay? Then what else do I need? Reason one. Reason one. So what am I going to do with my reason one? You're going to um, summarize it. Okay. I'm going to summarize my reason one. And who can tell me what the next step is? If I'm going to summarize my reason one, what is going to be the next step? Summarize reason two and then summarize reason three. And what does it mean to summarize? No, short. Okay, a short, try to get all the details in maybe in one or two sentences. Okay? After I've already restated my thesis, I summarize my reasons. What am I going to end with? A conclusion. Well, that what is kind of, of what kind of part of a conclusion? Part of of conclusion. Wrapping, 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 it wrapping it all up. Wrapping it up. That's what I want to see. I want to see a wrap up to close it up. Okay. Okay. And if you have your outline filled out like this, you should have at least 22 to 24 things, if you count them off. 
Your thesis is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Almost 22 sentences. How many lines, or 22 lines, how many lines do you have to fill? 26. 26. So you have almost 26 lines written for you. If you do your outline and put on all the details, you're going to be good to go. So what we're going to do now is, I did my paper. I wrote my paper just like you're going to have to write your paper. And I did an outline for an example. So we're going to put my outline up. We're going to go through each step. And then I'm going to have you come up and point to the things on my outline as I read my paper to see if I've covered everything. Okay? And then we're going to go back to the reasons. kind of small because it didn't have a lot of space, but I think you can see. And then we'll go back and we'll do our own, okay? But I just kind of want to give you an idea of how Ms. Chazinski did the thought process in it. What did she think about? What was it that she was uh, trying to get? What ideas was she trying to get across? So not only are we going to look at the specific outline, but we're also going to look at what's the organization. What is the conventions in there? Is she using capital letters? Is she using the correct spelling? Because remember, we talked about this. If I have everything on my outline to the T, do I have to do too much on my rough draft? No. No, right? And so if you notice, on her outline, she has full sentences, right? Mm -hmm. At least with the thesis, with the hook, the background information, and restating the thesis. The same thing with the conclusion, right? She restated the thesis one more time. Summarizers in one, two, three, and then she wrapped it up. But we'll go ahead and go over that information, okay? So give me a thought process, Ms. Chazinski. What were you thinking okay. about? <clears throat> so the first thing I do is I look at my prompt that I was given. I read my read statement. We talked about that already. The think statement and the write statement. So I know I have to write a thesis statement. And what three things did we say goes in the thesis? The reasons. The reasons. Okay, so I had to come up with what do I want to do in this country that I'm going to go visit. Well, I want to sightsee. That's going to be my reason one. I want to taste the food and maybe learn how to cook some of the food. And I want to get immersed in their culture. I want to understand some of their culture a little better. So those are my three reasons. Now I have my reasons. I can write my thesis statement. Okay? So... The writing of the essay is describe a place you would like to travel and why. So I'm going to use my three reasons at the beginning of my thesis statement. And I have up here, I would like learning the culture, eating the local cuisine, and taking in the sights are great ways to explore your favorite country. Did I cover all my reasons? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I can put a check on that box. Let's look at the hook. What did we say the hook can, is easiest for in a expository essay. Sergio? Okay, the read, we either have the quote or what else? A question. A question, right. So I already see, I have a quote, so right away I said, okay, I know what my hook's going to be. I copied the, state, the quote down by St. Augustine. Okay, <coughs> have my hook. Let's go to the background information. Where are we going to find some background information? We didn't do research on this project, so where are we going to get that background information from? The think, with? the right. The think, right. We're going to go to the think. So they have something, <coughs> traveling to new places can be rewarding. Uh, the world is interesting and a big place to see. You maybe can't see all of it, but you may see some of it. So that's where I got my think statement. And you're going to hear that when I do my story. The last one, what is that? Restate thesis. Restate the thesis. Okay, what's an easy way that we said you can restate a thesis? Switch it. Switch it. Switch it. So okay. when, I, when you say switch it, Angel, explain to me, what do you mean by switch it? Are you writing Like, you put it backwards. Put it backwards, so I flip it, right? So right here, she had her reasons first. Learning the culture, eating the food, and then the sightseeing. So then, if I have that at the beginning, where am I going to have my reasons if I'm going to flip it? I have it in the beginning already. In the back. In the back. Okay. Good. Okay. So then I have my reasons, and now I'm going to go to my examples. Sightseeing. 
I'd like to see the pretty sights. That doesn't give me any detail, so I need details. So I pick three cities that I'd like to see and some of the things I'd like to see in those cities. Over here, the food. I gave things that I want to do there. I want to taste and learn how to prepare the food. I want to see some of the regional dis dishes of the region. And then I want to enjoy a meal with my family that I have living in Italy. <coughs> the culture. What I want to be able to do is speak a little bit Italian before the trip. And I should know that lasting impression, first impressions are very important to the people of Italy. That's a part of their culture. So we have to be very careful with that. Okay, and I want to connect with my family and discover more. Okay, can I get two people to come up here just for a minute? Okay, uh, Steve and Noah, come on up. Okay, since you all can't see exactly what I wrote since it's so small, I'm going to read my story. And when these guys hear the outline, they're going to point to the outline so you can see that I'm going with the flow of my outline. So can what you? I want you to pay attention to when Shizinski is reading, okay, because of course you can't see it in front of you, but I want you to pay attention to her flow process, her, her organization of how she went through the thesis, the hook, the background, she restated, then went reason one, went over the examples, reason two, examples, reason three, and examples, and then went on to the conclusion. Now remember, if you listen to that, you'll hear how the flow of it is, okay? So go ahead. Okay, here we go. Learning the culture, eating the local cuisine, and taking in the sights are great ways to explore your favorite country. Augustine, St. Augustine once said, the world is a book, and those who do not travel read only one page. <coughs> it is a big world out there waiting to be seen. Traveling on new adventures can be very rewarding. Have fun discovering what your country has to offer by studying the culture, tasting the foods, and hitting all of the interesting sites. Italy is the country I am going to visit this summer. I am so excited to travel there because that is where my family is from. I plan on doing much sightseeing, but the main cities I want to see are Rome, Venice, and Civita di Luparella. You may not have heard of it. It is a city on the eastern coast of Italy in the Abruzzi region, and that is where my family is from. I also want to see Rome. It has the Vatican and the ancient ruins such as the Colosseum, and Venice has the canals and the gondolas. Another reason why I want to visit Italy is the food. I would love to prepare some traditional Tuscan dishes and enjoy a traditional nine-course dinner with my cousin. Being able to speak some Italian when I arrive would be great. First impressions in Italy are lasting impressions. In Italian, it's <coughs> bella figura. Connecting with my family and discovering more about them and the culture of this region of Italy will be amazing. Visiting Italy is the highlight, will be the highlight of my summer. It will create lasting and treasured memories. Eating, preparing, and sharing the regional dishes of Italy with my family will be a great opportunity. <coughs> Experiencing the Italian culture firsthand will help me connect more to my roots. If the world is a book, as St. Augustine suggests, I am ready to begin reading. Okay, did, boys, did you see how the flow went? Did it follow the pattern, the one, two, three, four, five pattern that we do on our outline? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank so, you. So now that Ms. Shizinski kind of gave you an idea of her thought process of what she did, I want to work with you, and I want us to do this together. We're going to do the same thing. We can still put that over here. Okay, you got it there? Okay. I want us to go ahead and go through the process ourselves, okay? I know that each one of you have wrote an actual place that you wanted to visit in your quick write when we talked about it, but let's do this one together, okay? I want to focus on what is a reason one, reason two, and a reason three that you would like to visit the particular place. Let's let's talk about it. Let's brainstorm work. it. Let's brainstorm, brainstorm it. What do what do we what what are the reasons that we want to list? And if it was one of the ones on mine, that's fine. We, we can, can do that. We can do one of those too. Is there anybody have? Lizette, another? what country did you pick that you wanted to visit? Um, California. California. Okay. Anybody else pick California? Okay, Steve, tell me, what's one reason that you would want to go visit California? Um, the language? The food, okay. So could we, possibly what I could have here for my reason one would be the food, 
Okay. What could be another reason? Anthony, what would be a reason that you would want to go to California after <coughs> since you had said that that's a place you wanted to go? Noah? The culture. The culture. The culture. Okay. What's another reason? Learn new stuff. That would probably be part of your culture. Style. Style. Seeing stuff. Seeing stuff so, like what? Like so sightseeing, okay? Yeah. So we're kind of going with the same information, kind of like what Ms. Shizinski had here, right? Okay? So let's go ahead and talk about the food. Now remember, part of our writing is the development of the ideas, right? I'm not going to just say that I want the food, that I like the way the food tastes. Give me some examples of food that you would want to taste. There in California. Okay. okay, you can put Chinese food. That's fine. Somebody said what? Japanese. Okay, what else? Oh, uh, the chicken or our taste. Okay. I don't know it's different chicken. So we want to say maybe American food. American food, like, okay. Okay. So we're talking about sightseeing. Now probably a lot of you haven't already visited California, but what is something that you probably heard about that you want to visit? Is that? Hollywood is a good one. Any other one? New York Beach. So we're oh, talking about California. Somebody said the beach. Okay. One more. No. Okay. Buildings. The buildings. The buildings. Okay. Universal. The houses. The houses. Okay. What else? Isaiah, what are you thinking? Disneyland. Disneyland. Disneyland, Disneyland and Universal, because they're kind of together, right? And then you lose that such money to go to Disneyland. Okay, hey, the um, culture. Talking about the culture. Somebody had said the way they talk or the style. Mauricio, what do you mean by style? Like their way of clothing. Okay. Okay, the style, the way they dress. Okay, clothing. Okay. Language. Okay. okay. What else can we talk about? Clothing, language, tradition. Tradition. Okay, that's good. good. Okay. Okay. So now, now that I have my reasons, now I can develop my what? Thesis. My thesis. So, how could I develop my thesis? Using what? What am I going to use? Am I going to read, think, or write? Oh, read. Think the right, right? Because it's telling us what we need to write about, right? So you're supposed to write an essay describing a place you would like to travel to. And, and why. Why. We're That's answering the, the why. We're answering the why. So what is a good thesis I could come up with in telling the reasons? You can scribble it down on your paper, too, if you'd like. And that might help you think out a little bit better if you want to write it down. How can we start off on a thesis? What's a good thesis we could use with the reasons? Thinking about that we have to describe a place that you would like to travel to and why. Now remember, we're talking about California. Of course, yours might be a little bit different. But we're, if you think about any place that you would want to go to, most of this is probably going to be the same. You're going to want to talk about the food. You're, you're, you're going to want to find out about the food. You're going to want to find out about the sightseeing, the places that you want to go. The same thing with the culture. We talked about this before. In the quick right, whenever we said, you know what, I think Shane had said, where did you want to go? Wisconsin. Wisconsin, Wisconsin. right? And I said, even if you go to Wisconsin, somebody, someplace here in the United States, you're going to want to know about the culture because you talked about the cheese. The sightseeing, the different places that you want to go to, the food, right? We all talked about that. So that's pretty much going to be the same throughout. Yes, we're talking about California, but how can I develop a thesis based on that right? An essay describing a place that you would like to <coughs> travel to and Let's develop that. Angel? Angel, can I try it? Food, culture, and setting are reasons I want to visit California. Very good. Very good. So he said, food, food, sightseeing, and culture Is it, are three reasons that I want to visit California. Okay. 
We can just say our reasons why I would like to visit California. And like Ms. Penny said, you can substitute the California for your country, another city, wherever you like. Because we're going to use, like we said, the beginning, our intro is all going to be the same. We're all going to talk about food, sightseeing, and culture on any country or any state that we want to visit. So all you have to do in your thesis is substitute the state or country that you want to do. Okay, let's look at the second thing, the hook. Okay, how are we going to find out, where are we going to look to find the hook? Read. Okay, we're going to go back to the prompt. And we're going to see, do I see a question or do I see a, 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 quote. a quote? So we want to take the quote, and the quote is from St. Augustine. Okay, and for time's sake right now, we're just going to write quote. We already decided, you know what? That's what Anytime we, we have a quote, that's the perfect way for us to have that hook. That's not only telling the individuals that, you know what, I'm understanding what they're asking because it's already written here. Make things easy. Don't make it any harder than what it is. If I have a quote, I'm going to use it. Why not? It's there, right? Easy, right? So that's going to be my hook. It's going to be the quote. Now, my background information. Hmm. Where am I going to get my background information from? These. From the bank. From the bank. Remember? That's going to be our background information. Okay, so here's where our background information goes. Now, you all have highlighters when you have your test, right? Yes. Please, mark up the, mark up the, uh, the, the prompt. You can do that. So we're going to try to find some background information in our thing. We've already used this, so now we're going to go back here. So what are some of the things that this is saying? We can travel and visit. New places, it can be very rewarding. The world is a very big and interesting place. <coughs> you might not be able to see all of it, but you should be able to see some of it. So those are three sentences. You don't have to use all three. You can choose one to put in there. But you need to put it in your own words. Okay? So look at these sentences. There are three different ones. Which one would you like to use in your background information? Just to give a little more information of what your paper is going to be about. Now remember, my thesis, I'm saying food, sightseeing, and culture are reasons why I would like to visit California. Then I'm using my hook of the quote. Background information. What could I add in there that's going to give me a little information about what I'm going to talk about here? What kind of sentence can I put? Lizette? You might not be able to see all of it, but you should try to. Okay, so how would I reward that? What could I what could I say? Because I don't want to just wanna copy it. everything on that because the only thing I, I can copy to the T is a quote, right? I don't want to plagiarize anything else right here. I want to use my own word. How can I reword it? What could I say? If we're talking about California. You got it. Just think about it. Think out loud. Help me. California might be a good state. There you go. There you go. You so it. California might be a big state. Go on, Lizette. But, but it's, it's not the best state. You're not going to be by that statement here. The but. Right. Remember, the anytime but. we have the but, you're saying, I like this, but not this. So if I'm saying California might be big, but you should try to see part some of it. it. Some of it or part of it. Okay? Okay. Okay, now the next part. This is step four. Restating the thesis. Look at our thesis. We have our ideas at the beginning. So to make it easy, we're rewording it. How can we reword it? Come on, Angel. You said the flipping. Our ideas are at the beginning. Where do we want to put them now? At the, where? At the end. At the end. Very good. So, okay. Cassandra, Cassandra, thinking Cassandra. about that, you just said it. At the end. How could I restate this? If I'm putting my 
my reasons at the end, how would I say it? Right here. Okay, those are your reasons. There you go. That's I all it like is. Reasons. Reasons. I would like to visit California. Very good. Are the food and the culture. There you go. You have restated your pieces. You said the same thing, but you said it in a different way. to use those to make your, your writing a lot better. And by 
Just revising those sentences, you can bump your paper up from a two to a three, a three to a four. Change it. Okay. Okay. Change it so, up. like I said, this is not something new. We've done this before. If you pay attention and you make sure you write these details and you develop these ideas, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. I've done 21 sentences that I've already planned out. I don't have that much more that I need to do, right? So I'm going from my thesis, my hook, my background, restating my thesis. Reason, my supporting details, my development of my ideas. Reason two, my examples. Reason three, my examples, then my conclusion. The flow is already there for you, right? Now someone asked earlier in another class, well, do I have to put this as my first reason? We told him no. As long as you have your reasons and your examples together, that's fine. You can put culture first in your story, or you can put it, you know, instead of, you can put culture, sightseeing, and that. You just don't want to go from culture and give an example of culture, and then go to food and give an example. You don't want your reasons and your examples to be mixed. You want to do them all together, all together, all together. It doesn't matter which order, order you do it in, as long as you have the reason and the examples together. I okay? to justify that. Now, I know we went over this kind of quick. Anybody out there feel like, hmm, Spina, I really don't understand the conclusion, or I really don't understand the thesis. Angel, can we use two examples together? Two examples. Can you use two examples together? For example, tell me. Chinese and Japanese? If you want to use these two examples together, I have no problem with that, but then guess what? You better give me another example, because I need at least three supporting details for that reason. Remember, because we talked about this before. What happens is you'll say, I want to sightsee and I want to see Hollywood and the beach. Then all of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute, that's, you could have made three sentences out of that and then you, all of a sudden you combine it into one sentence. So that defeats the purpose of us doing this planning, right? Yes, you can combine them as long as you're going to say, you know what, Miss Fanny, I'm going to add another one right here and I'm going to add something there because I need that supporting details. You need three. You need three to check I need off. at least three supporting details, okay? Did you have a question? Okay, closing. Let's talk about the closing or the conclusion. Okay, on here you're going to want to restate the thesis again in a different way. Okay, it's kind of hard trying to think of different ways to say the same thing all the time. So I think that's going to be a hard one for you. So let's look back at all of our stuff. Let's look back at all of our stuff that we have. On mine it was, I said, visiting Italy will be the highlight of my summer. So maybe you could say... The one place I would like to visit on my summer vacation is California to enjoy the food, the culture, and the sights. Okay, you're saying the same thing, but you're putting in where you want to go, like you did up here, um, and you're giving the reasons. You're restating it, but saying it in just a little bit of different, a little different way. Okay. The next part, summarizing reason one. What it means to summarize is to wrap everything up and say it in as few words as possible to get the point across. Okay, let's look at reason one. We're going to summarize. What's your reason one is the food. Okay, and you said Chinese, Japanese, and American. So those are all different types of what? What's a different word than food? It begins with the C. Cuisine. I heard somebody say it there. Cuisine, okay? So you would maybe want to put I, another reason, or a reason I would like to go to California is to try their regional cuisine of Chinese, Japanese, and American food. You can even or you say don't even have to regional cuisine. That's all you have to put because it tells you these are the cuisines that you want to try and that's what you're going to do. You could even go as simple as California's um, different foods. <coughs> um, California's different foods. What can I say? Are is another reason, or is is a reason? 
to enjoy California? Mm -hmm. Or to enjoy the state? Enjoy the state. Okay, we can do that. California again. We can okay. do that. So now we've completed reason one. We're going to go back to reason two. The sightseeing. Maybe <coughs> spotting a Hollywood star playing in the ocean and meeting Mickey Mouse are three sightseeing stops that I want to go on to in my trip. Okay, playing in the ocean, meeting a star, or meeting a Hollywood star, and shaking hands with Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. Are the sightseeing things, are the sights I would like to see on my trip to California. Okay? So you're giving your reason, and you're giving your examples over again. You're summarizing them, making them a little bit better. Okay? We're going to do the same thing with reason three. Who can try to give me a summarized sentence for reason three? Taking into account, we're looking at maybe possibly the clothing, the language, and the traditions. Um, going to the store and looking at the clothes. Okay. Okay, so maybe shopping. Is that what? If we, we go to look that? at clothes, we want to go shop. Shopping. Right? We like to shop. What's something else? <coughs> <coughs> learning, okay. learning, the learning, language, the language, and and special and traditions. traditions. Learning the language and traditions. And traditions. Good, good, Steve. And traditions is what. Reason. What I want, what I want to learn about the culture is what I want to know about California. Maybe you want to do that. Because we're already talking about the culture kind of here by learning the language and the traditions. We don't want to repeat that. So if I'm saying shopping, learning the language and traditions is what I want to see or what I want to know about. I know. I'm using all the board. We don't have much board space. Yeah, we don't. Okay. So now we're going to wrap up and close up. Now remember on mine, I went back, when I did my closing, I went back to the quote. Is that one? Okay, I went back to the quote. I used the thing as a book. And what do you do with a book? You read it. You read, okay? So I said, so I'm going to do it this way. If the world is a book, as St. Augustine said, I am ready to begin reading. Do you understand that quote? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can somebody explain that quote to me? What, my, my thing right here, my sentence. Explain it to me. Okay, so I'm ready to start traveling is what, what my end of my statement is. So that's what you have to figure out. What kind of catchy clothes can you put on this? You want to leave the reader wanting more. You want them to want to read more. So can somebody just think of something maybe that we can put on there to wrap up? It's a big world. Okay, let's, let's go with that. It's a big world out there. And that's why I would like to visit California. Okay, well let's try to make it a little bit broader. Let's try to make it a little bit broader to encompass it. So it's a big world out there. It's a big world out there, is that what somebody said? Mm-hmm, Mauricio said that one. Okay, it's, it's a, a big, big world, world out there. Who can help finish that one off? What else do you think we can put? It's ready to explore it. And I'm ready to explore it. And it's Okay. It's a big world out there and I'm ready to explore. Who said that? Angel. I'm ready to explore. That right there is a catchy end. You're closing it up and you're telling me what you're ready to do. Right? Okay? And if you do all of this, guys, and you have your, your conventions, you have your capitalization, you have your punctuation, your grammar, everything you check it. You have a dictionary. You have the thesaurus right there. Use it. Please use it. Okay? Any questions at all on any part of this? Does anybody have any questions before you start on your own? Okay. Ms. Okay. Pena is going to take that side. I'm going to take this side. And if you have any questions, start. Start you can go ahead and start. You have your thesis. You have your hook. We already have some of the reasons. This might change depending on the places that you want to go for that development. But make sure you personalize it, okay? And the conclusion is going to change. Change. But we just want to give you an example of how that was. Okay. okay. So we're going to walk start. around, and if you need help, raise your hand.
No, the read, the read, think, and the write, it's going to be the same. Okay. Nice, KJ was asking, the read, think, and write, is that going to be the same? Yes, it's already on the board up there, the read, think, and write. So if you want to use your hook of the quotes, that's there. If you want to change it to a question, you can. But remember, the most easiest way for us okay. to do it is so what? Could be okay. Quote, mm -hmm. right? Okay, they have, um, okay. the food they have there is... Okay, so from Egypt, so then um, you use, if you want to, do you want to do the food, sightseeing, and the culture? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you can use the same thing. You can see how it says up there, it says the food, sightseeing, and culture are reasons why I would like to visit Japan. Okay, you're going to use the same thing. Okay, so just put that on there, just like the way it is right there. Okay? Okay? Yeah. <coughs> So what are these the foods that you'd like to try, or are there mm -hmm. different ones? Okay, are these the places that you want to visit? Okay, how about the culture? Is that the things that you want to do? Okay, so now you're going to try to write a sentence saying, okay, I want to have Chinese food. Why do you want to have Chinese food there? Why is it different in California than it would be here? Because you're having it. Because there's different people cooking it. it okay, there's different. different people. So okay, it might taste different because of the region, but there's also Chinatown. There, remember? Okay. So you can, you want to go, you want to taste the Chinese food from Chinatown, okay? Maybe the American food tastes different there, okay? So you're going to give me the three reasons why you would want to see, go to Hollywood, or give me an example why you want to go to see Hollywood. Why do you want to go to the beach? What's at the beach that's so different over in California, okay? And what about Disneyland? What do you want to see at Disneyland, okay?